welcome to the Triangulo Lab Chorus Ensemble in stereo, with independent chorus vibrato modes, wet dry outputs and an always on analogue preamp. This really is a faithful recreation of the original Boss Chorus Ensemble, with some practical upgrades like standard 9 volt power and quieter operation. For this demo, I'll be playing a special edition 60s Stratocaster through my pedal board and split into stereo to a Fender Deluxe Reverb and a Marshall Silver Jubilee Mini. Each head goes to a single orange 1x12 cab and these will be panned in stereo for the full chorus experience. So the pedal has two modes, chorus and vibrato. Let's take a listen to the chorus mode first. On this mode there is just a single intensity control which acts as both speed and depth. I'll play some simple chords and do a full sweep of the control so you can hear the range, from slow and flangy to fast and wobbly. To switch between chorus and vibrato mode, just click the chorus vibrato foot switch. This changes the LFO shape of the modulated signal from triangle wave in the chorus mode to a smoother sine wave in vibrato for a more pronounced effect. The LED flashes at the speed of whichever mode you're on so you won't get lost. The vibrato mode has separate depth and rate controls which allow for a little more tweaking than the chorus mode. Let's take a listen to the range of tones this mode has to offer. As you turn the depth down, it really starts to smooth out and becomes much more musical. So, going back to the chorus mode, let's take a listen to some John Frusciante riffs. I know a lot of people interested in this pedal will also be interested in him, just like me so it makes sense to demonstrate how scarily close this pedal brings you to his tone. I find setting the intensity control to around 12 o'clock or just below is perfect for this sound.
So you may have noticed throughout this demo that there's a light above the bypass switch that flashes as I'm playing. This is a peak LED to show when the pedal's internal preamp is distorting. The harder you play, the brighter it lights up. And the preamp is active even with the effect bypassed. In my opinion, half of the magic of this pedal is this preamp colouring the signal before feeding it into the chorus circuit. I've put the pedal in a stereo bypass loop so I can take it out of the signal path and show you the difference with and without the preamp colouring the signal. I currently have it in the low input mode set to slightly distort when I dig in, adding warmth and fatness to my clean tone. So here's the sound of the guitar not going through the pedal's preamp. So a pretty thin, clean, generic tone. When I engage the preamp, we should hear it fatten up a bit. Let's explore a few of the clean and overdriven tones that are available from the preamp. I'll start in low mode, show you the full range of the level control. So that's the most you can get out of low mode. Let's compare it with the dry signal again and see how much it's fattening up the tone. So now I'll flick it onto the high mode, which has more gain and is a bit brighter sounding. So in this mode, setting the level to about 12 o'clock pretty much takes off where low mode left us in terms of gain. Wow, 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 wow,
I think Will has done an incredible job with this pedal. He's captured all of the magic from the original units and somehow made it work in this cute little box. It definitely won't be leaving my pedal board anytime soon. I've been Oliver and thanks for watching.